Arnold Palmer first laid eyes on Bay Hill in 1965. And there, amidst the backdrop of the freshwater lakes and orange groves of central Florida, Palmer would create his crown jewel, the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. And for more than 30 years, the King's track has tested the PGA Tour's best with some of the toughest holes in golf. 2012 was no exception. After three rounds, only one stroke separated these friendly foes, setting the stage for an epic Sunday showdown. But only one would be crowned by a king. Tiger Woods is a winner again. And how appropriate it comes at Bay Hill. Arnold Palmer. Jack Nicklaus has won at Inverary. Be the right club today. Yes! What do you think about that? Go in. Oh! 59. The best final round ever. <laughs> Welcome to PGA Tour Classics presentation of the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Blue skies, warm temperatures here in Florida. Final leg in Florida, the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard from Bay Hill. Tiger Woods, how would he hold up physically? Withdrew a couple of weeks ago at Doral with the strain left Achilles. That was pretty good to start his day, though, Frank. Yeah, he was going to be fine, especially when putts like that started going in. These greens are fast, Terry. They're over 12. The quick birdie at 15. He opened up on the back nine. So two under when he came to the par 5-6. The chance for birdie. That's where he'd get it. The three under. 69 today for Woods, and he said afterward he felt fine physically. How about Charlie Wee at the seventh, looking to get it to three under? Par threes at Bay Hill are always difficult. So he records a two there. That's like stealing around here. We, who had a share of the lead or the lead for three days at the AT&T Pebble Beach earlier, struggled on the final day for birdie at 14 after a birdie at 10. Another par three up and over the ridge and gets it in the front. 18, always an adventure here at Bay Hill. Over well, the water with hole location right. Not far from where Sunday's hole location will be. This is second. So what you're saying, it's difficult, which it is. Only a couple of yards to play with. Barely. And just gets it over. Safely on dry land. So this for birdie to get it to six under and finish up there. Charlie Wee, a 66 today. And we go down to the 18th hole where Todd Lewis is standing by with Charlie Wee. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Seven birdies, just one bogey. How good is that round on this golf course that rarely yields low numbers? Well, you know, I controlled the ball really well today and, uh, you know, I was able to make some putts and I know that, you know, tee before I teed off, if I would have shot a couple under, I would have been very pleased, but to shoot 66, uh, it's a very pleasant surprise. Check in on Jason Duffner at two under, this at the 10th. And once again, off to a good start. And that's been a big change too this year, starting to get a little bit more confidence. At the 8th, Grant Snedeker taking a look at this putt. Snedeker with that win in San Diego. Nice putt curling in. Let's go to four. There's Blank's third shot here at the par five. He was on the leaderboard last week. Who wasn't? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> there were so many on that final. He'll be day. on this week as well. Hello. Inching along, and it does get there. Back to the eighth. Now a look at the third from Bubba Watson. Mark Rolfing is there. Drove it in the right trees, laid up to here. This is from 115 yards, curving it from left to right. Oh, he'll escape with four. He's already done some magic today. All pars and an eagle on the card to this point for Bubba. And at 16, Martin Flores for birdie. This one should turn a little to his left. Coming down the slope some, kind of straightened up, yeah. Nice birdie there. And we take you to 14. And Duffner. Now with this for par. A yeah, big putt here on day one for him. He's just two off the lead. Yeah, four under, done nothing wrong so far. Tough par four to come. Be a nice one to make. 
but just the speed of the greens means you've got to like give in, just give it a touch more break than you normally would. Good putt. So Duffner remains tied for second to the seventh and a par three, playing just over 200 yards. Ryan Moore. Just like the other par three that we saw, firm green. Yeah, oh. but this one went in. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the ace for Ryan Moore coming off a bogey at the sixth. We'll turn it around. And now to Haas at 14. Par three here. Let's see if he can get this pot to fall for birdie. he does. That moves Bill Haas to one over for the day. Now up to Jason Duffner at the par four 18th, looking to stay at six under on the day. You could say this is uh, nearly the round of the day, even though 66 led with Charlie Wee. He's going to get the good conditions tomorrow morning if the wind does get up in the afternoon. It's not unheard of for someone to shoot like 68, 68 and have a, a good lead come Friday evening. Good two putt at 18 for Duffner. Excellent round of golf. With four birdies and an eagle on his card, Jason Duffner has climbed to the top of the leaderboard alongside Charlie Wee at six under. Nick Watney comes in with a round of 68, while Tiger Woods lurks just three off the pace. Jason, you saw a lot of short grass today. You missed only one fairway, top five in the field so far, strokes gained putting. How impressive was that number for you today? Yeah, pretty solid round. I uh, was able to hit a lot of fairways again today. I've uh, been uh, doing that a good bit here with my play lately, but I uh, was able to get some putts to go in today, so that, that's always nice. Hopefully it'll continue. One key on your round today was 16, that beautiful eagle. Walk us through your second shot here. Right, I had about uh, 210 yards to the pin. The wind was a little bit off the left and in, and I just hit a nice uh, hold four iron. Maybe a little bit further left than I wanted to. Went right over the pin there at about 12 or 15 feet. So uh, it was a really nice shot. Uh, kind of a shot I've been struggling with the, with the wind going right. And it was nice to hold one up into the wind there. What was the break on this putt here? Uh, I had it about maybe a little bit more than a cup left. Uh, hit a little bit harder than I thought I, I wanted to. And it just kind of snuck in there on the, on the right side. So uh, I actually thought I might miss it left. A little, broke a little bit more. So sometimes that's a good thing. All sorts of challengers await our leaders in round two when we return. It's another sunny, warm day in Orlando as we get set for the second round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational here at Bay Hill. Jason Duffner shared the lead after the 66 yesterday, started tournaments so well the last few weeks here in Florida. Graham McDowell said the putter really wasn't all that hot early. Well, it, it did get hot. He said it was so, 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 so good. Birdie at seven to get it to three under, but in all, in his round today, an eagle and seven birdies, including this one at the eighth. 63 today, one off the course record set by Andy Bean and Greg Norman. Tiger Woods, his third at the par five fourth. Yesterday, a 69, a round in which he said he really didn't do anything great. Well, started off with three straight pars. That pitch led to his first birdie of the day, up ahead to five. This would make it two straight. And he would get it to five under. So he goes back to back there. And then his second at the par five six, one of the great holes here at Bay Hill. Oh, it is 240 yards, dicey front hole location. And he had to land that on an area probably of about three or four square yards. Wouldn't make the eagle putt, but he would two putt for birdie. So three birdies in a row, looking for four straight at the par three seventh. And gets it. So Woods, who said he feels 100% healthy, doesn't even think about it. He goes four in a row. How about Justin Rose in the group right behind the Woods group, looking to do the exact same thing? Four straight birdies for Rose to also get to seven under. So Rose had a good round going until bogeys at eight and nine. He's now five under through 15. Duffner and McDowell at the top right now, but the marquee names are working their way up the leaderboard here in the second round. As we go over to 17, Tiger Woods on the tee first. 224, six iron, wind uh, 
a little bit from the right. I think there's also a little bit of help in it. Over here on the left side of the tee, and he's trying to move it a little Come right on. to left. This is a good looking shot if the distance is right. Oh, it should release a little bit. That is really nicely played. He didn't need to beg on that one. <laughs> that looked good all the way. Yeah, very aggressive swing there. Quickly back over to 16, Justin Rose, second shot from 200 yards. Well, he is staring that one down. And for good reason, Justin Rose will have about eight or nine feet with a chance to make a three at the par five. At the 15th, here's Zach Johnson from just off the green. Already has three birdies on the day, make it four. So Zach Johnson is now to five under par, four shots back of the lead. And at 17, Tiger has a chance to take the outright lead. Tiger with a lot of success around here. Get in the oh. And he's got it. Tiger Woods, seventh birdie of the day. No bogeys, 10 under par, and in the lead. Justin Rose with a great chance for an Eagle three. Really is Gary almost could not have put it in a better spot. Not a whole lot of break to it. Maybe turns just a little left at the hole. There isn't much there. Yep. Got it off the hole. As you said, Mark, not much break. Charlie Wee, meanwhile, it's an excellent pitch from the side of this par five. Stops the bleeding, similar to the one he had for par in the last hole, and this time able to get one back at the fourth. So he's three off the lead of Woods. This is 137, Frank. Everything aiming a little left, sitting up for a hold. Get a hold! That's what he's trying to hit. This needs to get down a little bit as well. And come back. So Woods with a birdie opportunity at 18. And we've seen him do that before in final round. Six wins here at Bay Hill to five. Where it's much quieter on this side of the golf course, Charlie Wee to get to eight under par within two shots of the lead. So Charlie Wee has climbed his way back to that eight under mark. Over to 18, Tiger Woods for birdie. To get it to 11 under. I don't think he can believe it missed. Looked like it may have hopped and, and hit something along the way. Take a look. Takes a little bobble. May have taken it off its line because it was trying to curl in. We go to eight. Nick Watney for birdie. And it did get in there. So he's not out of it. Six back. And back to 18 for Tiger's par putt to stay at 10 under. Final group tomorrow. Tiger Woods looking forward to the weekend after a 69 and a 65 today. Tiger, not much use for your short game today. You hit every green but one. What part or parts of your game were you impressed by today? Uh, I putted well today. I didn't uh, feel like I hit it all that great today. Um, didn't feel very good, but the um, good thing is my misses are better. and. Uh, no, it's just kind of just play smart all day. You're double digits heading into the weekend. What's your mindset now? Well, I want to see what the forecast is first um, before we come up with a game plan. And I'm um, just go out there and obviously hit, try to hit fairways and greens and give myself some chances. But um, this golf course, you know, the greens are, are interesting because um, they're not consistent. You know, one green's firm, one green's not. So uh, I know they're trying to firm them up, but some are, are firming up quite a bit, and um, some are backing up so it's a it's an interesting test hey appreciate your time good luck yeah, on the weekend thanks, man. see you tiger woods and charlie we finish round two tied at 10 under par while jason duffner and graham mcdowell trail by one stroke heading into round three
Welcome back to PGA Tour Classics presentation of the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge on a warm, toasty day in Orlando for the third round of his tournament, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. The course first discovered by Arnie back in the mid 60s and the rest is history. And a guy that has won it six times previously, Tiger Woods on top as we take a look at our current leaderboard, but can Tiger hang on? He's got the one-shot leader for Jason Duffner, Graham McDowell. All three of those players have backed up, as you can see, at plus one. Ernie Els making a big move, four under, just two off the pace, and then he's got loads of other people right there at seven under. Now out to McDowell at the par five fourth. A birdie to tie Tiger atop the board. Graham McDowell, who had a runner-up finish in 2005 in this tournament. And Charles Howell looking for another birdie. He had four in the first five holes before a bogey at eight cooled him off. Still went out in three under 33. And back at it at the 10th. And Charles Howell, the third, is back to seven under. And back over to the fourth. Tiger tapping in for his birdie to get it back to 10 under. Charlie Wee finally got off the bogey train, made par, stays at seven under. But Tiger moves back into double digits. And back into the lead by himself. Davis Love the third at the 17th. He has this from 25 feet, five inches for birdie. And it's good. Love gets to one under on the day. Up to 18. Birdie putt for else. If he can somehow get this in, who knows what might happen tomorrow. Ernie Ells to eight under. Six burdens, only one bogey on his card today. Ells looking strong heading into the final round. To 11 for Tiger's birdie. Not on the same line, but had to learn a lot about the speed from Charlie Wee's putt. Did he do it? There you go. First putt over four feet today. That would have been about six feet by if it hadn't gone in. Really looking for that long one to drop, and this one finally does so from 22 feet. See a little left to rider, and then he just comes cruising down that hill. And, and that's what he was looking for. To 16. Johnson Wagner from just over 20 feet for a birdie four. And that moves Johnson Wagner, who turned 32 yesterday, to seven under par. 13. Tiger now for his birdie. 14 footer here, Peter. It doesn't do much. May try to bleed just a little to the right. Not much. Get in the hole. How about that? Tiger Woods to 13 under, starting to separate himself from the pack. Now with a four-stroke lead over Graham McDowell. Looked like it was going to lift out and somehow went in. Zach Johnson you see with his birdie attempt. Straight in downhill. Easy putt. He had it going early and going late a bit with a birdie at 18. Back at 17, Graham McDowell on the tee here at the par three. Should fit his shot shape perfectly, Gary. Little cut playing into the wind right now, downhill, five iron. Do not want to miss left, especially not a whole high left. He likes it though. Does he get the release? He does. And that is a beautiful shot. That should give him a great chance to get off that bar string. He makes a swing at last. <laughs> you heard him there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Finally made the swing as we go to 18. And Bubba looking for a good swing coming home here. It's had a bit of rough back nine for Bubba. Plus four after he went out and three under. Watch this hook. This hook's going to go about 80 oh, feet left to right if he plays it right. Oh, he's on the rocks, takes a high hop. And lands in front. He's all right. Back at 17. Graham McDowell has a chance to uh, get to 10 under par. Good stroke. Graham McDowell to 10 under par. So that breaks the par string of 12 in a row. Up to 18. This would be some three if Bubba Watson can go from the rocks to the bottom of the cup. Yeah, this would be a serious rocky round. Let's see if he makes it. Looks pretty good, but only Bubba. Holy mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Three, 
How are you doing? You're looking at five or six, and you end up with a three. That birdie gets Bubba to five under for the tournament. Graham McDowell part 18 to stay at 10 under, just one back of Tiger Woods, who has one hole left to play. We caught up with GMAC after his round. Graham is a U.S. Open champion, and you were just saying that Bay Hill played like a U.S. Open setup today. Why so? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, with these greens as firm as they are, um, fairways are very key. Uh, if you miss fairways, you, it's very difficult to hold greens. And uh, the pins are tucked away. You know, they've tucked them away all week, which is which has made you be very smart with your iron play going into the pins. And, you know, I kind of felt like I played with a handbrake on a little bit today. I, I fired away from a lot of pins and found myself 30, 40, 50 feet away all day. It was a tough grind out there, but looking forward to the opportunity to play with uh, a man who knows how to get it done around Bay Hill. Tiger has won a whopping 47 of 51 times when he's had the lead going into the final round in PGA Tour events. This is from just inside 33 feet. Look at this. Oh! Like I say, either it goes in or it looks like it should have gone in. Every time he putts this hole, it seems like. Tiger would go on to tap that one in for par. He finishes with a one under 71 on the day, setting up a Sunday showdown with Graham McDowell, while Ernie Ells and Ian Poulter trail the lead group by three strokes. Always a special feel to the final round of this Arnold Palmer Invitational, but even more anticipation on this day, considering the multitude of stories that could unfold and front and center, the man in red, Tiger Woods, who has not won on the PGA Tour in more than two and a half years, is playing competitor Graham McDowell, double bogey in the first, so Tiger's par there has given him a three-shot lead. He's back in his former hometown in very familiar surroundings. Tiger Woods and Graham McDowell have been down this road before. The two major champions squared off at the 2010 World Challenge. Wow, McDowell! That. With GMAC charging from four shots back in the final round to defeat Tiger on the first playoff hole. But that was two years ago. And this is Tiger's territory. The greatest champion this place has ever seen. A six-time champion at Bay Hill, Tiger knows every blade of grass, every angle. There's a feeling in the air that the old Tiger is back, and everyone is waiting for him to strike. Well, Graham McDowell strikes first here at the par four third. He has about 162 to the pin. Down, get on the ground. Get on the ground. This is moving to the right some. Lands very softly, fortunate there. Yeah, he's sort of uh, not, not hitting the ball with authority. That's the same shot he hit at number one that buried in the bunker and cost him a double bogey. And Tiger's got 141. He's got nine iron here. A little soft one. Yeah, he's flatted it down a little bit. This is a good looking shot. Right next to the hole. So Tiger, after giving one back at the second, looking to gain another one back on Graham McDowell. Let's go ahead to six. Kevin Na has a chance to reach six under par. Nice up and down for Kevin Na. And back to three. McDowell with about 45 feet left for birdie. that double at the first. Now Tiger for his birdie to match McDowell. This one he can make in a sleep, Roger, normally. Yeah, it shouldn't do much. Might try to move a little right. Yeah. All right, so they match birdies at the third. Over at 17, Phil Mickelson on the tee at the par three with a four iron. Coming off a of birdie at the 16th. Phil now even par for the tournament. Oh, and how about this? To four. And as Tiger looks for back-to-back -back birdies, he's birdies on 10 of the 12 par fives played this week. Number one in the field. Looking for a right to left break outside right edge. There it is outside about four inches. And he's got another one. And the lead is back up to three. 
And the twirl, and the, he, he wanted that birdie really badly after the poor chip. It was a nice putt, good read. Over to the fifth. Poulter now for his birdie mark. And when you hear those roars, and you're a group ahead of Tiger, uh, you know what happened back there, don't you? Well, you sure do. There's only one group back there. <laughs> only one Tiger. Ian Poulter to eight under. And four back. 17, Mickelson for a two. The difficult par three. Pretty straight putt. And he gets it. So Mickelson gets to red figures at one under par. We move ahead to Tiger Woods in the fairway at six. A 562-yard par five U-shaped beauty around the lake. 267 left of the hole. The hole cut on 46 paces from the front of the green. Now that the hole is dog leg to the left, now the wind's from the right and helping here. Very, very dangerous shot. He got away with a pole here yesterday. Well, this is no danger of missing left. Oh, the red line oh, yes, it did, Roger. This is unbelievable. This is by far the best second shot I've seen here today. Incredible. Johnny, this is what he's been working on, trying to keep that head still and then get his arms out in front, get on top of the ball. You see even a nice divot with that long iron. Now Graham McDowell from 276 yards out. Well, this right at the hole toward the center of the green. That's, That's a, a lovely a shot. Yes, it is. Heck of a shot. Right into the center of the green. It's a long way from the hole, but uh, two beauties by the final group at the par five sixth. Over to eight. Bud Colley and his birdie try. Gentleman that uh, came right out of college. No Q school. Made the tour and is one of the bright young stars out here. Example there to get to five under. Back to even on his round today. Back to six. McDowell for eagle from just over 51 feet. A good swing from right to left. This has got some speed. And Graham McDowell. How's that answer to Eagle three, second eagle of the day here. And all of a sudden, he's 11 under par. That is two monster putts he has made now. All right, Tiger's putt, uh, Rod's a little over 15 feet, would you say? Yeah, a little bit over 15 feet downhill. Shouldn't do a lot. May try to leak just a shade right as it loses speed at the end. Is there an answer? Oh, it just runs out of speed. But a nice, easy birdie. After six holes, Tiger Woods holds a two-shot lead over Graham McDowell but a lot more golf to be played when we return with more PGA Tour Classic. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic's presentation of the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. We join Graham McDowell at the par 4 8th. He has this from just over 22 feet for birdie. Is it going to have enough just drifting to the left? Oh, what a wonderful putt that is. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of value to having tap-ins. Up ahead at 12. Awkward third shot for Bubba Watson here at the par five. And he plays it beautifully. Back to eight. Probably going to move a little bit to the left, Arnold. Yes, sir. And uh, it's fast. If it gets away from the hole to the left, it could go down well into the front of the green to increase the lead back up to three. That is four birdies in the last six holes. Could have been five in the last six holes. He is on his game, and his lead is back up to three. Over to the ninth. Ernie yells for par. Drove it in the rough. Short with his second, and in with a great putt for par. There we go. Ernie LC yeah, stays at six under. The defending champion, Martin Laird, who had a tough back nine today. Plus two, plus four round of 76. 
Out to 17. Ryan Moore with a four iron. Coming off a of birdie at 16. He has reached four under par. Johnny, we're seeing some good shots. Guys able to stop the ball with the yeah. hole back into the wind. Moore would convert that for birdie. Back to nine. Graham McDowell now with this uh, another little two and a half, three footer. McDowell drops a shot here at the ninth. Tiger safely in for his par, now four shots ahead. Over to Ells at 11. What a nice putt. You can see that putt breaks towards the back of the green at the end. Ells would tap that in to remain at six under par. Now over to Tim and Tiger Woods. 116 left. He's on a bit of an upslope here. The lip ahead of him, not an issue. Got a very good lie. Looks like he's aiming left of that bunker. Uh, he's caught it solid. I think he needs to get down some. That's carrying. There's a little check just near the back edge. That's going to be a tough two putt. Let's take a look at this. Back in a stance, gets the ball first. You know, might have been on purpose. Just take plenty of club, get it past the hole, try to two putt. Opportunity here for McDowell. You yank it. Yeah, it's a little bit left of the hole. Uh, Judge pretty well, though. That's a heck of a shot right there. That's not a hard putt at all. That's a, a well hit shot. Over at 11, Poulter to stay at seven under in solo third. So Poulter in third by himself, three back of McDowell, and seven behind Tiger. And back at 10, this is the long birdie journey for Tiger. I didn't look at this putt because I didn't think anybody would be here. You're slacking off. <laughs> I have it from 10 feet in, but not from here. And it's playing a pretty big break. See if he leaves that thing short. Uh, it's a little short, but not bad, but that's no gimme. I would say just so so from there. Here is really good chance for McDowell. It's an important putt after missing the little putt at nine uh, to get this back, get his confidence, and a little bit of momentum. He didn't hit a good putt. There was a left edge putt, and he started at right center. Frustrated that he didn't make it. Brad McDowell taps in for par to remain at 10 under and Tiger trying to stay for ahead. So a little left here to keep the four shot lead. Well, you should know what it does. Should be inside the left edge, I would think. And he hates bogeys more than anyone. We talked about that yesterday. Especially three putt bogeys. So Tiger survives another fairway miss. Not only at 10, but at nine. Good two putt par for Tiger in search of his seventh win here. Well, Tiger Woods has a commanding lead here at Bay Hill, but there are some tough holes coming up. Stay tuned. Is a man accustomed to making history. Hello, Ben Hogan! It is over! And Tiger Woods is as synonymous with Bay Hill as the king himself. Four in a row for Tiger Woods and Bay Hill. In 2009, Tiger won Palmer's event for the sixth time. Again! At Bay Hill! Fortifying an already special bond with the king. Tiger is in a familiar position once again, Sunday at Bay Hill, with victory in sight. And now out to Sean O'Hare with this chip shot at the par 3 14th. Tough par 3, 206 yards. Well, it didn't make it look too tough. Coming off back-to-back -back bogeys, O'Hare makes a birdie there to get it back to even. What kind of shot does Tiger Woods have at 11, Roger? 
Well, he's got a wonderful live ball sitting up. Matter of fact, might have to be a little bit careful about catching it kind of high on the blade, uh, pitching directly into the wind, although the green's running against him some. But uh, all in all, this is not a real tough pitch. Let's see if he can get the right distance. Wind held that ball up. That's a tough little putt right there. That breaks towards the back of the green and uh, easy for him to miss that putt to the right. So there is a possibility of a two shot swing here with Graham lined up for an upcoming birdie. It's been a part of the American golf scene for a long time. University of Alabama Birmingham where he won the Fred Haskins Award as the College Player of the Year. Walker Cup member as well as his last two Ryder Cup teams that he's participated on. And watch this putt break right at the hole. How about the break and it slips in for birdie. Oh boy. And once again McDowell has drained a long one. And all of a sudden Tiger's thinking man what happened to that four shot lead if he misses this. Could be two. Let's see if he misses this right edge. Wind really blowing. Definitely a factor on all the shots today. Clutch par save. So just a one shot swing goes Graham McDowell's way to 15. But Colley from 21 feet for birdie. Great story. 22 year old. One of the bright young American players coming up that gets him to six under and a tie for third. Great showing for Colley. And the second for Ernie Els. He has faced this shot before in this tournament and was able to save par up the shaved bank. And that does better than that. What a shot. That's the shot of the day so far. His first birdie of the day comes the hard way. Over 15. Graham McDowell already in for his par, and after a bogey at 14 for Tiger and bogeys at 12 and 14 for McDowell, Tiger Woods has this eight footer to remain four up over McDowell. Isn't this pretty straight? I, I think this is going to be pretty straight. I think a lot of times in situations like this, the pros try to read some break into it when it isn't there. That's a huge wow right there. Tiger Woods back to making big putts. We've seen that before. I think he's back. It's Ian Poulter's third shot. And he could get to six under if he could get this up and down. And he should have a very good chance because he played a beautiful bunker shot. Bubba Watson playing his second shot from the greenside bunker at the 17th. And I would say for Bubba, probably about average. Back to 16, Ernie Ells with a good chance for birdie. Okay, nicely done. So at the moment, in third place. And Poulter to uh, complete this little up and down for birdie and does so that moves Ian Poulter to six under par. And Ells tied for third. And up at 17, Bubba Watson for par to remain at six under. Bubba ranked 70th in the field this week in putting, has just not made enough to 16. But Colley has this putt to reach seven under par. A brilliant second shot out of the uh, fairway bunker down the right hand side put it on the green about 50 feet from the hole and a nice two putt. Well Bud Collie would bogey the final two holes and finish at five under par. Graham McDowell drops another shot at 17 and now trails Tiger Woods by five. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classics presentation of the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Tiger Woods zeroes in on victory from the 18th fairway. Not just any other Sunday at Bay Hill. 
where Tiger has been out of the mix now for a few years. The last of the wins here in 2009. And if you call phase one, the 71 PGA Tour wins and the 14 majors, this is really the beginning of phase two, the yeah. first win of the resurrection of the personal life and the golf swing and the golf career. You know, I think he's got a lot of game. I've said that yeah. it wouldn't totally surprise me if we were to have win 35, 40 times from now. I mean, he, he could do it. The way he's playing right now, he's going to kick butt. Okay. In this phase two, beginning at the age of 36, four knee surgeries. Yeah. Um, we'll see where it all ends up. Second shot, 18 for Tiger with a five shot lead. 179, wind coming from the left. Might be a touch of a help in it now, it feels like, but almost, almost dead across left to right. See where his eyes look. So he's looking right there. So he's going to hit that ball right at that line with a cut. Well, he's started it well left. He's cutting it left to the hole. That's uh, vintage Tiger Woods, Sunday Bay Hill. It's going to be the first PGA Tour win with Joey LaCava and the first win on the PGA Tour in 924 days. There's been 108 official tournaments. There have been 72 different winners on the PGA Tour since Tiger Woods last PGA Tour win. And how ironic is it that this would be PGA Tour win number 72. And I was struck by his comments when he was asked yesterday what this win would mean Tiger simply put in just the old Tiger speak of old he said as far as what it would mean it would mean number 72 and that's not a bad number either. Well this is the first time he's had four rounds under par since the 2010 Masters. There's uh, just too much left for us not to experience some more winning ways from Tiger. We've seen him make this putt before. How many times? <laughs> He'll settle for a tap in four. And a round of two under while everybody else went backwards. Tiger Woods in the final group is a winner again. And how appropriate it does, it comes at Bay Hill. His seventh victory here. Just like days of old. Watch out boys on the PGA Tour. Tiger is back. Let's send it down to Roger Murphy if he can hear us down there. It's pretty raucous. Thanks, Dan. Tiger, it's been a long time. No, you won the Chevron. This guy feel pretty good, doesn't it? It does feel good. It feels uh, feels really good. Um, it was been a lot of hard work. Um, so thankful for a lot of people helping me out along the way. And uh, you all know who they are. And uh, it's been tough. Today was unbelievable. The, the conditions were rough. And uh, these pins, I mean, Arnie took it to us today. He, he put some pretty good pins out there for us. How about all these people that were pulling for you so hard? I mean, mm. it's, it was, you could feel it. It was palpable. It was incredible. It was incredible to have that type of support here. Um, you know, I, I used to live here for a long time, and uh, it was neat to see some of, some of my friends come out and, and follow from the old from Isleworth, and um, it was just a great atmosphere all around all week. Tiger Woods ends his two-year win drought with a final round two under par 70. His five-stroke victory over Graham McDowell is his seventh in 15 starts at Bay Hill and the 72nd of his career. To be able to go out there and do it against Graham under really, really tough conditions on Sunday. A U.S. Open broke out at, at, in Orlando, so that's one of the reasons why I was just so fired up because I, I didn't backdoor it. I went out there and earned it against a really tough competitor and on top of that, a really difficult golf course. To me, to get out here and build a play like this and to be able to play against the best players in the world, it's, it's a blast for me. Congratulations, Tiger Woods, winner of the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard, a PGA Tour Classic.